Well, hello everybody. I'm back in the friendly confines of my own bathroom. Thanks for joining me on that vacation. I had a great time and I'm tired. <laughs> and today, I'm gonna be shaving with a razor that has the distinction of the most aggressive razor on the market. And I've got some thoughts about it because I've used it a few times so I could get used to the idea of the Mula R41, the aggressinator. <laughs> no, don't call it that. Anyway, this is the Mula R41 and it is a very aggressive razor and I wanna tell you about it because I have used it a couple of times so I could you know, get, get a good idea of what it's like. And when I shave with something new like that razor, I like to use my old standby margaritas in the Arctic because it's a known commodity. I don't wanna use some new soap or anything. I'm gonna use a feather blade, which is one of the sharpest, most professional grade <laughs> razor blades you can find. I'm a professional. I'm a true professional and uh, hopefully I won't cut myself. I've been using feather blades in my R41 and uh, you can tune in and see if I cut my, my entire cheek off or just a small portion of it. Now, to lead up to it, I'm gonna use the Sterling Island Man shave oil just because I like it. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use the Hawkins and Brimble because this is good and it's lightly scented and it's like a, got a good lotion feel to it. So it's not just like a splash, like a, an alcohol-based uh, aftershave. This has got some good healing properties, which I'm sure I'll need afterwards. But normally I would use this West Coast Shaving Brush, my favorite uh, from West Coast Shaving, the Synthetic Knot. But my good buddy over at over at West Coast Shaving, Abraham has seen fit to send me one of their new synthetic brushes. And not only am I going to use one, let me show it to you first. Here it is. It's a honeycomb. It's a plastic handle. It's a synthetic knot. It's a tuxedo knot. This thing is 26 millimeters. So if you're, if you want, you're one of those size nerds, you want to know what, uh, what size the brush is. <laughs> And it's got a firm backbone. I'm reading from the, ooh, it's so soft. It, you know, when it comes to shaving brushes, there's a lot of uh, jargon used like uh, the knot and the this and the millimeters and the backbone. And I, I honestly don't have a lot of knowledge about that stuff. I'm just a simple guy, but it's got a firm backbone. That means it, it shaves well. It's, it's, it's not floppy. It's good, all right? I used this once already and um, Let's see, normally they, they, uh, they go for about $34. Right now they're on sale for $27.98 US, $27.98. But what would happen? It's got their little logo right there, West Coast Shaving. So it's a plastic honeycomb, you see that? Kind of looks like a cross section of a beehive with this synthetic knot. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have one of these for yourself and not have to pay anything? Well, Abraham was very nice enough not only to send me one to try out, but to send two more to give away. So this is a video where I'm giving away two West Coast shaving brushes, just like this one, but in different colors. Let me show you real quickly. These are cool, I love these little, these little tubes they come in. This one is a green. I have not used this one. I'm gonna keep these unused. That's the green honeycomb. And then the white honeycomb. Look at that. So here they are. The blue, the green, and the white, now for sale on West Coast Shaving. I'm giving away the blue. I'm sorry, I'm keeping the blue. I can stay right there. I'm giving away the white and the green. So, if you want to win one of these, I'm going to put it back in the tube. You'll get the tube and probably a little note from me inside. Just leave a comment below this video saying you want to win. And uh, I will do a drawing. I mean, this will be a quick giveaway. It's not going to be like two weeks long like the fat boy. I'm going to do the drawing this coming Friday. So... Put your uh, name down there in the comments to, to win one of these. I will ship it to you um, wherever, wherever you are. Hopefully, if you can, if you can receive uh, a, you know, postal service in your country, I will send it to you. And uh, thanks to Abraham again at West Coast Shaving. Let's get on with it. That's enough talk. All right. Took a shower, did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water up on my face. Even though I traveled with it, I will not be using Barbasol in this episode. Gonna get the old margaritas in the Arctic out. Now I haven't put a blade in the mule yet, so I'm gonna show you, just to prove that I'm actually, you know, stupid enough to use a feather blade in a mula. All right, here it goes. I've got the blue honeycomb synthetic tuxedo knot. They call, I assume they call it tuxedo because it's white on top and black, yeah. Call it a skunk knot if you want, I guess. Call it whatever you like. Call it a newspaper knot. 
What's black and white and red all over? This, after the blood from my face on the Mueller R41, that's what. Now there's a little hair that comes off. Generally, synthetics don't shed, but you might get one. You know, don't want to leave them out. Oh, let me put some more water up here. Didn't have quite enough water. Now, this shaving brush is a little bit smaller than my other West Coast shaving brush. But it feels really good, it's easy to use. I actually had to get used to the size of that, uh, that last one because I was using a much smaller synthetic, the satin tip. But this one is like in between. So it feels good, it's got a good weight to it. And it lathers beautifully. It's got a firm backbone. <laughs> Just like me. All right, we're gonna lather up here. Ooh, did you see that? Whenever you have a uh, shaving cream on your lips, and you pop some peas, you shoot out some shaving soap. There you go, what are you gonna do? Oh, I forgot to use this. Oh well. Back in the cabinet with you. Sorry, next time. Whew, all right. I've delayed long enough. Here comes the Mula R41. This is a three piece razor, which means you unscrew the bottom, and then you've got a two piece head. Now, I've got an old blade in here, which I'm gonna take out. That's the old one, and put that in the blade bank. Feather blade. All right, I'm gonna undo. I'm gonna show you how to load up an R41 if you've never seen it done before, or if you're curious. So carefully, when you're handling these razor blades, just handle them by the end. Don't grab them like that, because even the edges can be sharp if you squeeze too hard and you cut yourself. All right, then with a three-piece razor, you put the, the top of the head in your palm, and then lay the razor blade safely down, and then make sure you have the guard going the right way. It's pretty obvious which way it goes, but if you have it upside down, it's not gonna work and you're really gonna cut yourself. So make sure you have it going the right way. And then you screw the top down. Now, I'm not gonna screw it all the way. Even though it has guides to make sure the head is correct and the razor blade is correct, you always wanna make sure that the razor blade is even as it sits inside the razor. You don't want it to be off kilter because that could really hurt you and slice you up. All right. So when you tighten a three-piece uh, razor like this, what I normally do is put a towel around the head. And uh, in fact, let me get a towel right now, and I'll do that very thing. I'll wipe my forehead. I just took a walk. I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. All right. So hold the head in the towel, and then tighten the, the handle. And that way it'll keep the blade in place, and you won't cut your fingers, like I said. Actually, the, the razor blade doesn't stick out very much in the sides of the head of this one, but... Uh, Better safe than sorry, I always say. All right, I'm gonna dip the razor blade down here in some hot water. All right, this is a sort of an open slash closed comb razor, these little things. Uh, it's like halfway in between an open and a closed comb. Let me put a little, I've been talking so long, I need to put some more shaving cream up here. All right, oh, plus it gives me a chance to do this. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's lovely. If you haven't done that yet, with a uh, shaving brush. It feels weird at first, you're using a shaving brush, but then you get to like it. All right, I'm gonna go very lightly with this thing. Make sure I get the angle going. And I tell you, you feel every millimeter of the edge of this razor blade when you use this thing. The Mula R41. The most lethal razor on the market. Not for the faint of heart, not for the squeamish. Men, women, and children are fainting right now at the idea of a dodo bird like me shaving with a fresh feather blade. I am going even lighter than I normally do just because I don't want to cut myself. And I'll tell you, I've used it about four or five times and I've only nicked myself one time. So I got a pretty good track record. I may not talk as much when I'm shaving around my lips. <laughs> I need my mouth. I don't want to shave it off. Yeah. That's where the food goes. All right. Lightly, carefully. Now, an aggressive razor, if you don't know the difference between an aggressive and a mild razor, it means there's more blade exposed. You can really feel it. And you've got a higher risk of getting irritation, getting razor burn or cuts. 
And this one, and I don't know why it is, but this one seems to be, by all accounts, the most aggressive one on the market. And it is the most aggressive razor I've ever used. And I like aggressive razors. The Parker 99R is fairly aggressive. I like to shave with my fat boy on a seven with my feather blade. So I'm no stranger to aggression, aggression when it comes to shaving. And this one is very aggressive. You can feel it. And that's the thing about this razor is it does a good job because there's so much razor blade exposed. But I believe, I believe, <laughs> listen to that voice. Um, I think that it makes for a less pleasant shave because you're so concerned the whole time that you're going to cut yourself that you're worried. And you shouldn't be worried when you're shaving. You should just be enjoying it. So I think this is too aggressive. It's, it's not comfortable. It doesn't feel good. Feeling that much blade doesn't feel good. All right. There's the first pass. I'm still alive. Folks, still going. All right. Lather up. Ooh, wow. Firm backbone. <laughs> You can put that in the quotes, Abraham, West Coast Shaving. Sinatra Lennon says, firm backbone. But yeah, thanks again to Abraham. He's a nice guy. Great sense of humor. Works for a good company. Next time I'm in California, I'll try to drop by. Speaking of brushes, you've seen some of those other YouTube shavers like Ken Surfs and Paul H and Kevy Shaves. They all have their own personalized brush. Well, the people, I'm going to go across the grain here, the people that in China that make those shaving brushes for those guys contacted me and said, would you like to do one? And I said, well, why not? So coming up soon, they're sending me a sample. There will be an officially licensed, branded Sinatra Lennon shaving brush. And I'm blanking on the company's name right now, so I'm not going to misremember it and tell you the wrong thing, but that'll be coming out soon. I received none of the proceeds, but I, had to, I will have the name Sinatra Lennon on the bottom, so that'll be cool. I thought, how cool is that? I saw those other guys with one, and I thought, hey, I'd like one too. If you get that reference, then you are truly a child of the 70s who listened to comedy records. I'll tell you, this thing does a good job, but when you're, you know, worried about, about cutting yourself, that's not great. But thanks again to Martin from the UK for sending this to me. I think he did it as a practical joke, so joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> Ow! No, just kidding. Just kidding! Just kidding. I'm sorry. I did that in another video. I shouldn't do that. I apologize. I did not cut myself. Oh my goodness. Now I probably will. See? The hubris. I'm going very lightly on my chin because that's where I always get nicks from other razors. I'm going to go up. I'm going to do three passes with this bad boy. Because this might be the last time I shave with this razor. And, given Martin's permission now, I don't necessarily need it because he gave it to me. I might give away this razor coming up soon, along with another razor that I have. So stay tuned. I got lots of giveaways coming up, I guess. I don't know how this happened, but if you want to win one of these uh, shaving brushes, remember, leave a comment below saying, I want to win the shaving brush, you know, or something to that effect. And then this coming Friday, I will draw the winner and let you know who that is. Two, two winners, in fact. Two winners. Now, I have to figure out, hmm. Okay, here's what you have to do, because they're different colors. I got the green and the white. Please mention which one you want, the green or the white. Now, if more people want the green than the white, then you'll have less of a chance. But, uh, yeah, so let me know in your comment. I'm, this is all on the fly, folks. You think I'd prepare for this? Here, you want to see my preparation? H, this is my preparation. I wrote down a few things. <laughs> File 13. Ooh, firm backbone on that. Throw. All right, water on my face. I'm not feeling any irritation because even though it's very aggressive, I'm going real light. So yeah, in the comment below saying that you want to win, let me know if you want the white or the green. 
the white or the green. Oh, I love this margaritas in the Arctic. So good. So good. I got a email or a comment today from a viewer, a very astute, eagle-eyed viewer, who said, were you in that Netflix special, The Trailer Park Boys in Austin, Texas? Were you there at the show? And I was. If you guys have ever heard of The Trailer Park Boys or know who they are, they are this ongoing, long time, just crazy, <laughs> great uh, show from Canada. Oh, see, I got Tiny Nick right there. I'm man enough to admit it. I'm not too proud. But uh, anyway, so the Trailer Park Boys came to Austin a few years ago and, and recorded a live show, and I happened to get tickets to that. I was sitting in the very front row. It was like a last minute thing. And if you watch the Netflix special, it's on there right now, Trailer Park Boys live in Austin, you will see me sitting in the audience drinking my Mr. Leahy drink. And at one time, I get on stage with everybody else because Julian, the character Julian, started selling cheeseburgers. So I went up and bought a cheeseburger from Julian. You can see that right now. Go to Netflix and uh, you'll see me. I have my old hairstyle. I don't have the spike. It was the, the flat lay down kind. So look for that. I think I was wearing a, a jacket, like a sports coat. Looking stylish. That was a lot of fun. So if you're a Trailer Park board, Boys fan and a Sinatra Lion fan, then you can have your worlds collide in that one TV special out now on Netflix. All right. I'm trying to clean up here. So you got that little, little smudge of blood there. Nothing too bad. All right. Okay, let me, let me wash my face and I'll feel if there's any spots I need to go back over. You know, you don't want to do that too much. Anyone that, here's what I do. Yeah, it's always here. Because that's the angle, that's not the blade, that's not the sharpness or the, uh, the quality of the razor, it's the angle. You gotta get that angle right. There's always this over here that I have to get. And then there's always this and I kind of got to go kind of at an angle. I'm doing this just, it's not dry. My skin is wet. I put water on it. Don't do it dry. But you can do like a last couple passes, you know, just like touch-ups without, you know, putting more shaving cream on. Let me see. Get those pesky ones under the nostril. Yes. All right, that's it. All right, let's see. Triage, do I need triage? Let's see, triage, no. No, that kind of stopped. All right, cold water. Cold water on my face. Ah. Ooh, not as cold as the river water up there at the island. But close. Oh. Well, looks like I survived. Looks like I survived. <laughs> looks like it. Looks like a lot of things. No, so. All right, let's put some uh, some of the Hawkins and Brimble Alemi and Ginseng post-shave balm on. And you don't need a lot of this stuff because it's pretty thick. That's a little bit less than I would use, say, for the Cremo post-shave balm. But this stuff is thick, and it's got a light scent that uh, dissipates quickly, so it's not like lingering in your nostrils. Ah, There. All right, wash my hands off. That's it. It wasn't a straight razor. It wasn't a shaveette. It was just the Mula R41. You're a tough guy. I've seen tougher, but not many. I wouldn't recommend this razor for just about anybody. <laughs> Unless you love it. And then I would, but then you already know. You don't need my recommendation. But it's too aggressive. You can feel it. It's not a comfortable shave. Um, so that's my take on it, you know, it's, uh, thanks Martin for sending it to me. This is, I never, probably never would have bought one of these just for myself. So it was great to be able to try this out and look for an upcoming video where I do give this away and I'll be giving away another razor 
Uh, and then for this video, remember, leave a comment down below to say whether you want the white or the green shaving brush from West Coast Shaving, okay? I've got the blue here. Let's see how much left is... Ooh. Firm backbone. There we are again. <laughs> I always like to do that. I hate to, hate to waste. I'd love to be able to spread this all over my face again, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wash it out. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. And the great thing about that shave balm that I just used is that it doesn't burn. Now, should it burn? Do I deserve to be burned? Maybe, perhaps. Beating the devil out of this brush just like Bob Ross. All right. Well, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do the drawing for the giveaway for these two shaving brushes. The white one and the green one this coming Friday. So enter now. Don't delay. You will have until Friday morning sometime before noon. And I'll do a drawing and I'll put that video up and then I'll put up my normal Friday video. I got a lot of things, a lot of shaving soaps, a lot of things from Martin. Uh, West Coast Shaving, thanks again for sending me this. I love it. I love all synthetic brushes. And the ones you guys have sent me have become my favorite. This is, I'm going to have to secret this guy though. He's, he's my buddy. Maybe I'll give this away too. No, you don't want this. You don't want some old dirty used brush. But man, I tell you what, I don't have any razor burn. I don't have any cuts. And I feel smooth. That feels good. Yeah. All right. The Mula R41. Don't buy it unless, uh, I don't know, you're, you're crazy, I guess. <laughs> anyway, that's it. It's great to be back, folks. I'm glad you all uh, are still here. I really enjoy reading your comments. And... Uh, even if I don't respond to them all, I do read them all, so just know. So anyway, stay tuned, enter below, and I will see you on Friday. Have a good week, everybody.